Squid Games. <laughs> All right, my name is Kate Hicks and I teach recorders and flute on LessonFace.com. You can always find me there for private lessons. Squid Games, oh my gosh, yes, I watched the, the, the first series of it and it's incredible and memorable and when I heard that recorder solo at the very beginning, I thought, oh, okay, I wanna play that song and show other people how to play it. And I, I, here's my Squid Game color, some old 1980s velour sweater that I had. So anyway, how do we play Squid Games on the recorder? So you know what? A lot of you were forced to play the recorder when you're in third or fourth grade. Dig it up. Or if you don't have it, just get a recorder on Amazon for a couple of bucks. It's so worth it. All right. So let's see here. On this song, let's see. We have B's. A's, G's, and a couple of different kind of E's. And I'm gonna show you how to finger all of them. First, the rhythm. We have eighth notes and quarter notes. There are four beats in each measure. So it goes one and two, three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two and three and four. That's the rhythm. Now, there's already a couple of other tutorials that I saw on YouTube of how to play Squid Game on the recorder. Mine is just a little bit different, so I hope you learned something else from mine. And uh, let's take a look at the notes, B's, A's, G's, and I'll show you those E's. All right, so here's the recorder, all those holes. Here's the mouthpiece. The B is basically, use your left hand on top and the and right hand is on the bottom. The B I call pinchy B, you put your thumb in the back, you're covering that hole in the back, first fingers down. So I call it pinchy B. Then your A, two holes covered, thumb still in the back, and G. So B, A, G, relax your fingers, make sure you're covering those holes all the way. So here's how they sound, B, A, and G. That's most of the notes. But we have a couple of E's in there. So I noticed, uh, let's see, in one of the tutorials, the teacher gave you the incorrect fingering for the high, she called it D-sharp. D-sharp and E-flat, I'm calling it E-flat. They're the exact same notes, and I'm gonna show you why. I have my little Hello Kitty keyboard, which I use all the time. So D-sharp and E-flat, I'm gonna show you. Here is a D on the piano keyboard. To go sharp, D-sharp, you're going up a half step, and you land on this black key, that is a D-sharp. Here's my E and D flat, E flat. You're going down to the nearest black key. Then you land on the nose. So D sharp and E flat are the exact same note. So for my lesson, I'm calling it E flat. All right, so here's the fingering. And we have two of them, E flat and then we have a low E natural. Um, what the gal in the other tutorial had shown you for the D sharp, the high E sharp, she said something like um, um, three and then put these other three fingers out. And then she said to lift this bottom finger up just enough so that you're uncovering that little hole. That's how you would finger a low D sharp and your, your thumb is down all the way. But we're not playing a low D sharp slash E flat. We're playing the high one because it's high up in the step. So here's an easy way I like patterns. So for the high E flat, I call it three plus three and no thumb. So you feel these patterns in your fingers. Three plus three, feel that pattern, three plus three, but no thumb, that's all it is. And the high E flat is this, because that's in the song. That's all it is, three plus three, no thumb. And then the low E natural, the low E natural, is, and I have the fingering here, thumb is down in the back. You know that because that circle is black and it's three plus two. So what you do is thumb in the back, three, and then your bottom hand, the next two holes. Now, when you have a song that requires both hands, always begin the song with the position. Your thumb is always underneath that fourth hole. 
it's there ready so that when these fingers need to go down, they're in place. They don't go have to go searching for it or anything like that. So always be in that position. So low E natural, which is the, the last two notes. Make sure you're covering those holes all the way, including the thumb in the back. Blow super softly, super slowly. If you blow a little bit too hard, you're gonna get that and we don't want that. And one more thing, make sure you're tonguing your notes. You're going to, 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 to. You're not going because then you're just gonna pass out and that's no fun. All right, so let's go ahead and finger it and then we're gonna play it one more time. So new hand position, your thumb is underneath the fourth hole. All right, start on a B, pinchy B. B, 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 E flat, B, B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, G, A, G, E, E. That's all it is. And I have a repeat and then we'll do it again. And let's see, from a G to the E, it's actually pretty easy, G, and you're just putting those two fingers down to get the low E. All right, and I like to use a metronome. I'm pretending these are those drums because when you listen to it again, um, the theme song on YouTube, you'll hear this drum. So I'm just doing it with a metronome and that's my drum. So let's go ahead and play it. Here we go. That's the beginning. All right, here we go. annoy your parents and uh, you know it's really fun to do there's more to the song with the recorder and I'll do another tutorial on that another time but hey have fun with the squid games um, save your money don't spend it all enjoy life and I'll see you next time bye